So I was randomly scrolling on YouTube and I saw Alaska Violet's Spirit Halloween video and I said, oh my gosh, how has nobody thought of this? <laughs> this girl isn't even from America and she thought of it. Today's video, we're going to be building a Spirit what? Halloween in Bloxburg. And I asked Alaska, I said, would it be all right if I built a Spirit Halloween store as well in Bloxburg? I'd love the idea, just wanted to check. And she said, OMG, of course you can, queen. I'm expecting you to do it better considering you're a true boy American. So um, she's expecting some good work. I actually went to one recently, so I have a pretty decent reference. And and then also, if you guys are wondering what I am, I don't look like her at all. I'm Vidya from Tinkerbell, like the movies, you know? Because I'm actually being Vidya for Halloween this year with my friend Mads, who is playing Tinkerbell. So we're being Vidya and Tinkerbell. Genius idea, yes? We have to start off with the layout. There's not really many references of the Spirit Halloween store because the thing about Spirit Halloween stores is they literally just snatch whatever empty building is there at the time. So it can literally be any type of building I want. So I think I'm gonna do like, is that big enough? Okay, let's put the door. We want like that commercial sliding door. Here we go. Usually on the windows, they put like decal stickers. So I need to add some regular windows. I want ones that like match up with this. They have commercial windows, do they not? Honestly, I think that wall is like the perfect size. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is an awning because the picture I am looking at has like a black awning above it. And it looks like this one, we got pretty lucky. So I'm just going to stick this like here. That's probably good enough. And then go like this. And then it's got like the stone, the stone texture, probably this one. And then just darken it. And then it's like a tan color. This part is like lifted outwards. I'm gonna go one like this. I think I'm just gonna do the rest like this. The wall above it is what says Spirit Halloween. Do we even have a Spirit Halloween decal? <laughs> Spirit Halloween sign. Anybody Hello. Okay, to be honest, the decals are broken right now. We're just gonna pretend that says Spirit Halloween for now. Okay, here we go. So this is our building. There's like wall trims at the top. From this image, I literally cannot see much. So we're gonna have to be a little creative here. That's, that's all we can see. But there are more awnings over here and they literally touch the wall. So I guess we're gonna make our awning touch the wall as well. Add it to both sides. I am really winging it, ha uh ha. -huh. Is this gonna be too big? I think it needs to stop here. Yeah, we need to make it smaller. They don't actually use the entire store. They block it off. Not gonna lie, it is pretty smart. I really sound like I don't know what I'm doing right now, but to be honest, it's kind of true. <laughs> I'm struggling. This is looking a little bit better. This looks smaller and I think this is the size we're gonna have to go with. So how big do we want this? Honestly, this size is probably good enough. The nice thing about commercial buildings is they're usually just a big box. Makes it much easier for me. There's no windows on the sides or anything. It's literally just like a big box. That's it. Let's look. Let's see if this is the right size. This is a little small. It's not real life. It's fine. We're just gonna go with it. Flooring wise, I remember from my build battle, my classroom build battle, elephant used snow and I thought it was genius. So we're gonna use snow as our flooring. It really is just a big commercial building. I just want to put a ton of those vent things. What are they called? Vent? No. Ceiling AC unit? No. The, the little vents that you can connect like puzzle pieces. Aha! Duct work. Yeah, I never would have guessed that. Guys, I feel like I'm playing those games where it's like you have to connect it to the pipe. This is what it feels like. Wait, I can have multiple duct, duct vent, duct, duct work, duct work, <laughs> help. That looks pretty commercial. That looks pretty commercial. I think that's good. This is looking interesting so far. We do not have a parking lot. I guess I should make a parking lot. Oh, my grandma's calling me. Perfect timing. Okay, so little update. This is what I did while I called my grandma, but I want to change this bush to like dead. There's bushes called evergreen bushes. I'm gonna get a little nerdy. Evergreen bushes are green all year long. And I learned about this in high school. I took a horticulture class and I'm gonna make these evergreen bushes. This honestly isn't that bad, but we haven't done the inside yet. <laughs> Definitely interesting on the inside. The one near me, well, I guess the animatronics are always the front. This build is not gonna look like mine. I don't think it's gonna look like mine at all, but we are gonna have some sort of counters. The counters, I think are literally just like folded tables with blankets on top, black like sheets on top. They're literally just all black that is it like that is literally the counter and then storage there's usually some sort of queue line i worked in retail there's always a queue line that gets you with the like the last minute shopping type stuff and i want to use like the cheap where are they metal shelving unit if i can shrink these i cannot shrink these let's just set that aside can i shrink this no i can't bro i think i'm just gonna use this and then i think i do have some sort of registers unless regain use the last one the queue line i think i'm just gonna go like this 
and then it can go like, dude, let me, dude, let, please, thank you. There's the queue line. The thing is I have to fill those up now with stuff. We'll do that later. That That's for future me to worry about. Let's get shopping bags. We do have some bags. I think we're just gonna use these. I don't even know what the inside walls are gonna look like. Probably just a gray. There's an image I'm looking at and it's like a wall trim like this. This part is orange and we're just gonna do that all the way around. But then I, I kind of want it to look a little bit different. Ooh, wait, I like that. Let's go with that. Oh, it's very dark in here. All this duct work. I have to bring it down one. Yeah, it's not supposed to be this high up. We have a problem. Uh, as you can see, the duct work, I'd have to resize. I have to resize every single duct work. Guys, please like and subscribe because, oh my gosh, this is about to be the death of me. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> That was a lot of work. At the front, there are always animatronics. Actually, these buildings need to have black because it still doesn't hide anything at all. <laughs> Ooh, you know what we can use? Oh my gosh, sorry. My brain is like all over the place right now. Let's use the window decals because we don't have images. So let's close these. I think it's gonna look really cool. Heck yeah, that works. Now we have to build a layout. So like I said, there's animatronics. The animatronic skeleton coffin. We have multiple zombies that I cannot place very close to each other. And then I also have a spider that hangs in the ceiling. I'm gonna use these. I also have this giant inflatable pumpkin. I wonder, I'm gonna stick this up here just to give it more of a Halloween vibe because we don't have a lot. What the heck? Where'd it go? Okay, it's, it's there. What the heck? That was weird. These are the only animatronics we currently have. I don't think we can buy any more at this moment. Oh, we can get this one. I don't want to buy this. That's 4,000 tickets. Do I do it for you guys? I'll do it for you guys. I want a giant spider. Do I want a giant spider? Yeah, let's get a giant spider. Actually, I probably already have one. Spoiler. Okay, so here are the animatronics we have, right? Okay, so now I need to make the little stands for them. Dude, I can't place animatronics very close to each other. It's annoying. So now this thing, this just is gonna be a black box. Where's the entrance? This is the entrance. So I want the first animatronic to be about here. I'm gonna flatten this a little bit. This is gonna be the stand. Get our zombie. There you go, you got yourself a little welcome zombie. And then I'm just gonna make a little backdrop for it. Zombie friend, you're gonna be here. That's your display. So then I need one more wall divider here. And then I don't need a stand for, oh wait, I have two animatronics. Delete. And the plant is gonna go here instead. And then the spider is just gonna hang from the ceiling right here. There you go. So if you go near it, jump. <laughs> And then each animatronic, when you're at one of these, you actually have like a little button that you press. So I'm gonna get the circular placemat and I'm just gonna, oh no, be nice. Don't tell me I have to freaking move you. Oh my gosh, I do. This, I'm just gonna change to the orange color because you have to step on it. Or maybe I want this one so then I can change it plastic. There we go. And then what I could also do is I can add a little string to it so it looks like it's connected. And then he goes right here. Did you guys know that Spirit Halloween is actually making a Spirit Christmas? Yeah, a Spirit Christmas. That is literally crazy. I think it's gonna be kind of cool. I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I think it'll be kind of neat. Never would have thought. So I added a wall here. So here's the thing. Building a Spirit Halloween in Bloxburg is kind of challenging because everything is like a costume that's just kind of hanging from a wall. We don't have things like that. So I think this area over here is gonna be the trick-or-treating area. And go like this, place some buckets. Also comment below what you're being for Halloween. I'm very curious. Honestly, my friend and I had such a hard time coming up with our costumes. We were actually going to be Medusa and Athena. We were looking for ideas and we're like, oh my gosh, this is actually like too difficult. We could not find things that would work for us. So we ended up doing Vidya and Tinkerbell, which was our second option, which honestly is still really cute. Really excited for my heels. My heels actually come today. And I'm doing like this Dolls Kill purple dress. It doesn't come until like really close to Halloween. So I'm really, really hoping that it fits, but we'll have to see. I'm gonna make this area the makeup area because it's always a makeup section. Some ghost candles. There we go. And then we can make it look like one disappeared. Like someone bought one, you know? There you go. Some pumpkins for you. Then we can have some pumpkin jars here. Let's put a ghost here. Can you see through it? <laughs> I love it. Wreaths go on walls. So we can definitely fill up this area with some wreaths. They don't even sell this type of stuff. Like it's literally only costumes. Like that's literally all they sell. Like I said, we have to be a little more creative here. As for like costumes and stuff, I'm kind of wondering what I could, ooh, we have blankets. Folded blankets could be costumes and I can just make like different, I don't know, different colors and these can just be the costumes. We might just have to go with that to be honest. Maybe one can be hanging, like someone didn't fold it back up because nobody folds things after they look at something in a store and then someone has 
has to go clean up their mess. I'm saying that on purpose because I was one of those who had to clean up the messes and it drove me crazy, bro. Here, we can add some pumpkins. They, If they want some pumpkins, they can have some pumpkins here as well. Okay, back to the clothing. There's also a Beetlejuice section at mine and I think I'm gonna put it over here. This is gonna be the Beetlejuice section. Honestly, if you guys have not seen the second movie or any of them, seriously, go watch it. But honestly, the second one is so good. Like, I'm so glad he kept his style. He kept the cold credits. He even used like the old model. Like, it made me so happy. So I'm gonna make a Beetlejuice area. Just pretend this is all Beetlejuice stuff. Now you know it's Beetlejuice. Maybe this could be Hocus Pocus. Oh, we need like a blonde. Oh yeah, there's also a wig section at the store. I don't think I can put wigs in Bloxburg. We do have makeup. I can add more makeup stuff over here. This can be another makeup section. They also have like spray cans for um, your hair. I actually have tried those spray cans before when I was younger. I honestly don't even remember what I was using it for, but I ended up having to buy some sort of spray can. So what I can do is actually use the hairspray. These should be decorations. I need to move this. This needs to be a decoration area. They look like they've been looked at, okay? So we're just gonna throw these everywhere. Let's just add the cauldron there. Ooh, we have plastic skulls. We definitely have to add some of those. And there's also like mini ones. So let's, let's add a couple mini ones. They're so cute like that. I guess we can do one of those. I guess I could just add like a few spider webs here. Whoa, it's like thinned out because of the wall trim. That's kind of cool looking. Okay, what's in new? They did give us some other stuff. Oh, the, the pillows. I almost forgot about the ghost pillows. Medieval sarcophagus. Wow, this thing is massive uh, where the heck okay we're just gonna stick that there for now and then i want to add like the gargoyles can we resize oh <gasps> oh my gosh it's so tiny they're so little and then i want a big boy yeah a wooden barrel sure oh a halloween archway do i add it i don't want to really spend the tickets i don't want to spend the tickets I would do it. Where could I put this? This should have been like the archway here in front. This was a mistake. I'm just gonna put it here. Can we just put like a tombstone next to it? I don't, are they not called tombstones? Gravestone, gravestone. Okay, at least I can buy it with Bloxburg cash. Let's just get a couple of those. Someone died there. <laughs> Maybe this guy's trying to escape. I don't know. Ooh, some fog machines. We gotta have some fog machines for sure. There we go. I feel like my flooring should be more creative. There's one I'm looking- Oh, that's definitely not happening. There's one that I'm looking at and the image has like tile. I don't really want blue tile, but oh, yikes. Oh, maybe this? Can I darken it? <gasps> that is much better. We do not have much clothing here at all. So we definitely need some more for the costumes and stuff. We also have a random spider I totally forgot about. Bro can just hang out in the center. Maybe he needs his own platform. Maybe he wants to feel special. Let me give you your own, your very own platform. And then here, we'll even give you a thingy, even though you don't move, but we're gonna give you one anyways. <laughs> okay, we're making another divider because we need something there. Maybe this is an archway to this area. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it, you kind of get the idea, right? This is like just a graveyard. Maybe that's like the vibe. It's just a graveyard back here. But here we go. Just lots of gravestones and whatnot. And then let's darken this a little bit. Ooh, I've never colored this before. Should I put another animatronic zombie in there? Because I have one. Let's just add another one. <laughs> So this is our costume area. We definitely are lacking some some substance, some items. I'm trying to think of what else could be like clothing. I mean, boxes. I don't know, like what? We don't have actually, wait, I'm so dumb. We have clothing racks. Why? Oh my God. Dude, oh my God. We're about to fill up the store now. Let's go. And it's okay that it's colorful for once because we just need clothes to look at. Why did I even think about this? I'm just gonna change the colors. We just need like a lot of interesting colors now. I I will say I wasn't super excited for Halloween this year but now that I have like an outfit idea and I'm actually buying stuff and like I'm doing this and I made my final summer movie I'm starting to get more into the Halloween spirit I just wasn't really feeling it like either well I haven't really felt it in a couple years and everyone's like well it's it's because you're getting older and I just don't want to accept that and maybe it's not that maybe there's another reason behind why maybe well it's probably is because I'm older I don't know guys I don't know I just I really want to enjoy the season sometimes I have a hard time enjoying seasons but this year I am making sure of it. I am making sure of it. I guess I can add some of the spiderweb stuff to give it more of like that spirit Halloween vibe. Okay, so I think I finished it. I got a decal. I found a decal. I used my alt account just in case I get in trouble. And then I added like a 
a few more things inside, but I am going to open it to you guys because I need y'all's opinion because this thing is, um, well, it's not exactly how I thought it would turn out. I thought it would turn out better, but then I realized literally everything in a Spirit Halloween is just items that are on a wall and we can't, we can't show that. So I'm going to be unlocking my server to those in my Discord server. So make sure you are in my Discord server to be in future videos. Let's see what they say. They're joining. Here they come. Oh my gosh. Christmas came early. OMG, Spirit Halloween. Honestly, I'm happy with the outside. Oh, they're just going straight in. Okay. Oh, what is, is that a dog? Ew. Ew. Why are you on the cold? Oh, you're changing. I was really confused for a second. They're using the parking spots. I did add a car to make it look like uh, someone actually worked here and wanted to be here, but people are actually using the parking spots. Thank you. Welcome to Spirit Halloween, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Please give me your honest opinions. I need it. Please. Are they stepping on the markers? It looks great. Whoa. They stepping on the markers? Oh my gosh. Look, you can see like the animatronics moving when they get near them. Um, they're actually stepping on the markers. That's so cute. This looks so cute, Ro. I love it. It's really good. I think it looks great. Okay. Okay. So people are happy. I just, something feels off. Oh my gosh. Someone's got my little ghost UGC. And my bow, oh my gosh. Oh, someone's driving a unicycle, oh my gosh. Everyone's wearing their costumes. Do we have any workers? Oh my gosh, we do have workers. Look at that, we got a worker in a pumpkin costume. We got another person at a register. Oh, this is cute. I love it. Can I get a waffle? Wait, what? Wait, why does someone have a sword? I can't see you. What the heck? Why does someone have a sword? You're invisible. What in the world? I thought this was Walmart. Excuse you? It looks good, yes, yes, yes. It's interesting. <laughs> this is so good. Dollar General. The plant is hungry. Yeah, don't get too close to the plant. He might eat you. Oh, so yeah, he he took this guy's head. Bro, bro was eaten. He took his head. But Alaska, if you're watching this, please rate it out of 10. Let me know what you think. Um, Hopefully it met your expectations. But if you guys have not yet subscribed, make sure you do. And I'll see you guys next time.